Let's see if their communication's any better in this game. Oh, Cammy missed that jump. That's an awesome jump to top center. If you guys didn't know that one. I'm here. I already died. There's absolutely no silo, guys. I'm not gonna be able to get him. Can't get him either. I'm looking, Jason. Another guy there. I'm coming. I'm coming to try and help you. Wait, two guys on the top center, bottom center, from our base. Behind you, behind you, one shot. He's absolute. Still sitting in silo, absolute. He's sitting there still. Top mid, one shot. It's a good yeah, job of Hammy to know where to push right off our spawns. He's able to get shots on that guy and then get the other guy weak enough for Eric to finish. I don't know if they coordinated that beforehand, but it happened to work out pretty well. It's another example there of Hammy being possibly too aggressive. I don't know if aggressive is the right word. He focuses on one thing and, and always guns for that. So maybe too, like, not focused. He's got a rail. He's got a rail. He got that guy weak, but he's not gonna be able to finish him probably. Yeah, he's in a bad spot. It's a predictable death. He probably should have backed up sooner. Uh, ask me, remind me after the game. I try to not answer a ton of questions during the game just in case I end up putting any of these games on YouTube. Uh, it makes more sense to try to answer those types of questions or any other questions and stuff that don't pertain to like the map or the game type. Uh, it makes more sense to answer all those in between games and to talk mostly about gameplay and what's going on in the game, like during the actual game. That was a really good return, though. I'm pretty sure we need kill. We need kills before he goes in here. Now Justin spawned there, so we should just go in. Yeah, we have this. That's a good job of everyone on our team focusing on what we need to. Uh, with Camo and Rail coming up at the same time. Railgun is pretty dominant in this game type. Railgun really controls the map. If you can keep control of Railgun and use it. Uh, especially use all the ammo in it. I mean, it's going to give you map control and several kills, plenty of kills enough to run a flag and score. So, getting rail is really, really important. Was that camo? We killed camo. Not the camo guy. That's too dead though. You just, you just, you just need to work together. Work together. Uh, tunnel vision. Yeah, that's exactly what I was thinking of. I just didn't think of the right way to say it. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah. Okay. Cool. Shongler. Thank you very much. Report to the flag. What's up? Hey, yeah, behind me there, garage. I got one. You're dead. There's a railgun down the garage. I'm looking at a treehouse. I'm here with you, I'm here with you. Dude, they're gonna run our flag. We, we have to be top center. I have top up, center. I have up top uh, center. I'm looking at him. He's absolutely See, really weak. You saw Hammy there spawned our silo. He spawned our silo, and his first call out was, they're gonna run our flag. And that's because he knows the second that he gets this spawn, the reason he got this spawn is because they're in our base already, and they're blocking our flag spawns. Otherwise, he would have spawned by our generator and our flag. So, he knew instantly that they were going to run our flag and he called it out to his team, which is really good. If you get that silo spawn, you want to try to be aggressive and push towards the other team's base, get to their garage, or try to get control of their flag and then pull your own flag, which is what he did here. He ended up dying on that first silo spawn. He spawned silo again and then pushed immediately to their base to get a flag pull, which is which is really good. They're running it. I'm watching our side. You guys can all push. I'm pushing their side. side. Their port's weak. Yeah, their port's is weak. Generator, generator, one shot. Two guys, one hit the generator. Tommy, one shot. Tommy, one shot. Just grab. There's two of them. They're two. They're silo. We need to get to the flag. Top center. They're flying weak. Straight six. Two shot. One. One more. They're quiet. They're quiet. Justin. Um. They're fine. They're bottom center. Weak. Going top center. Maybe. He's gonna be their garage or Jason. After the pit. After the pit. I got. That was a good job of staying alive by Jason. They have real top center. Front of the base. I'm dead. There's four killing me. What about uh camo? Forty two. Forty two. There's a guy in our garage somewhere. Can't push back. Alright, Hamby, when I spawn, I'm trying to help Weak you. Weak their garage. Weak their garage. There's two guys in their garage area. It's a good job. Hamby knows it. Oh, no, that's unfortunate. Okay. They have to. Yeah, they have to kill that real guy. Nice. Uh, this guy in our garage, I think. Well, those are unbelievably good shots. If you guys want any advice on how to stop a push in your base on Fathom, just shoot like commonly. It usually works out if you're shooting that wall. Front of the base. Going into our treehouse. Top mid. What's top mid? There's a guy in our splinters. Top center. Top center weak with rail. He's got two shots at the top center. He one shot, Minos, just drop, who fit. Our silo. Two guys that silo. Two guys that silo. He definitely could have stayed alive there. He thrust it in the wrong direction and exposed himself out of top center. I mean, that was a good push right there. He heard the top mid call out and he knew immediately 
uh, where to look with Storm Rifle and start shooting the second that he jumped up there. But he definitely could have stayed alive, and it would have been better to try to keep map control. Because if he stayed alive and got his shields back, those guys would have been pinned, uh, like, their silo, bottom center, in front of their base. But it ended up working out because our team was aggressive uh, in their base. <coughs> Red tree has available. Wait, they should have known that that last guy was most likely yeah, out. We need, we 100% need kills. <laughs> and Justin gets railed and the flag's so off the map. That's about as unlucky as it gets. Do you guys have any blue I mean, I don't like the route that he had necessarily to jump on that thing, but I mean, it's like, regardless. You see Hammy aggressively go in and just go for flag immediately. It's just such a good play to get that flag out. He sees the two of his teammates are dead, so he's going to have to slow down. He shouldn't try to run this. He knows that. Yeah, he's not. He should definitely not go in yet. We need kills. They're definitely going to be running this back first, but we need kills before he can go anywhere. How does that guy get away with that kill? Yeah. Yeah. Flags down, Justin, flags down. I hear you, I hear you. I'm going for it. I would have liked to see him try to maybe throw flag out and bait it or something because there's no way they were going to get that return with all of us there. And he was just kind of a walking target, you know, trying to walk in with our flag or with their flag. So. He definitely could have played that one better too. He thrust it out immediately for that camo guy and didn't, or for camo that was spawning, and he didn't know that that guy was going to be hiding right there. But he still should have maybe coordinated that better with his team. There's no reason to die to a guy like that right in front of our base. He's got camo on their BR. Camo's their BR. He's going to bottom center. He's there to bottom center. Got camo. Good shit. There's Tyler. Need help. Coming, Eric. They're playing. They're playing. Hammy to your right. He's gonna be to your right, Hammy. Eric, I'm with you. Oh, dude, that's so they're unfortunate. Me, and they're <coughs> they're garage door has shots. Oh that's that's a good call out from Jason. And in theory, good, but he just totally whiffed a melee. Pretty sure we're still at a standoff here, and we have at least two of us dead. So this flight guy's the only guy. They're gonna be flying at our base. Yeah, that was a good job from Justin to tell Hammy what to do there. One of you guys push back to him. Center, goofy. I'm gonna die. Or or All right, I'm trying to help. Hammy's center, just kind of waiting. Dump center, lead, goofy. One hit. One winners, one shot. I feel he's one waiting one too one long here, almost. We were able to get the one kill, but top center, top center, that didn't accomplish yeah, much. Our pit was a rail. Our pit was rail. Charge me. Should have maybe tried to go up top of there. And jumping on it. Guys, on it, weak. I need help. Dude, one of you guys had to push back. You guys all spawned our yeah. silo. Dude, that, was, push back to that was a really, really I'm bad route. Them, dude. I know, but like you have to. One of you guys have to, to like fly and, and I mean, like, you have, one of you guys. I got the guy no shields, and the guy jumped out top center. Hammy, down, down the return. I'm I mean, turn them down for a second. I mean, when you guys both spawned and I was hiding. Was Hammy was the only guy up, and he spawned and he waited, expecting to see people, but he didn't see anybody. After Eric spawned and tried to push our silo, Hammy is now just almost completely useless because he's not helping Eric with the guy top center. He should have tried to push top center, and while well, Eric had that guy distracted, get the kill on the guy top center to go for map control. But instead, he kind of waited too long. I think he finished that kill on the guy, like pulse nades below, but then he got shot by a different guy in garage, and he tried to fly at the flag guy, which is like a desperation type play. But in reality, the guy that had our flag on our flag, or their flag on our flag, the guy who was holding it, during that stalemate, should have tried to move flag towards our spawns, towards our teammates. You don't want to be alone on flag uh, when they're coming in to kill you and return it, so.